Hey everyone, welcome to Freedom Ridge Homestead. Um, sorry I've been MIA on YouTube. I've been fighting a lot with my laptop. Apparently it is not compatible. So we were waiting for a brand new one to come in. Finally came in, getting everything set up on it. So now it's time to start getting back to vlogging. Um, right about now our season is still kind of going strong but still very you know hot and humid so a lot of things have died down so I've been pulling a lot of the dead plants and you know starting my fall vegetables um, trying to expand our garden we did our first till the other day um, where we're expanding mainly to try out our tiller to see how it worked and if we needed to fix anything before we actually got down to doing it. Um, now, because it's been so hot out, I haven't really had much of a chance to actually come up to the garden and take care of the grass that are that's between my boxes. Um, Right now, my husband is mowing our upper field with our zero turn. We just have gotten slammed with so much rain and then he, it's, it's been obnoxious. So, um, we're finally able to get stuff done. Um, like I said, I got broccoli planted and my dad also helped mow the other day. but I needed part of my garden mowed with a zero turn, um, mainly because right now it's still pretty much a good open space. Uh, I have to come through with the push mower between my boxes and the weed eater to get all of that going, but it's just been one of those crazy, weeks and crazy few months with everything going on but anyway so like I said I did plant I did plant some of my fall vegetables so as you can see I did plant broccoli there's four rows of four in this box um, and at the very end there's some celery still of course I have my shade cloth over it because it's still a little warm and they're not really strong broccoli plants yet. They're still seedlings for the most part. Um, then over in this box, I put my shade cloth over it and I did more broccoli. And in this box is also more green beans that have survived. Um, so I kind of planted around them I doubt we're going to get any green bean crops this year, mainly because every time I planted them, something decided to eat them. So this whole box I planted three times with beans and every time something's eaten them. Uh, the other day I planted along here some peas that are starting to come up and on this side i also did plant some peas not that those are coming up yet which is a little weird um over here are some peas coming up finally these are my purple cobain tomatillos that i didn't even know were coming in they were volunteer from last year. This box was completely full of them. So I have that one and I have this one right here. And then this little one right here that came back from last year. Um, my board is starting to die out. Over here, I have some giant Marconis that have not turned red yet. And then over here, 
I have some cool jalapenos. They're supposed to be the jalapenos without the heat. And then back here I have two orange habanero plants. Um, first you're growing those. I cut down some of my dead sunflowers that were already deseeded. took down some of the bigger um, sunflower stalks because they were leaning on the wire for my grape barber and I didn't want that to happen and break. So I cut those down. Currently those seeds are in my potting shed. I have to cut this one down. This one started to die. Here are my tomatoes. We have gotten so much rain in the past few days that all of my tomatoes are looking like crap. Mommy? Hi, buddy. I'm chasing daddy. Okay, have fun. Go and catch daddy. Okay, you do that. This is the uh, part that we tilled. We still have to get some mulch and some sand so we can mix that in with the soil. Once we're ready and everything is out of this part of the garden, we're gonna open up this fence part and extend it around that upper field. Continue to mow until this area and just have this as one big open garden space. Next year, I plan on doing a few more different rows of cucumbers. As you can see, my cucumbers are dying out, mainly because it's been so hot. And even though we have gotten a lot of rain, kind of normal. Uh, I'm a little upset, but what are you gonna do about it? Then I'm gonna be doing at least these two panels with tomatoes and this panel instead of doing my peppers i'm going to do more tomatoes um we realized that even though we planted a ton of paste tomatoes didn't quite have that many um actual plants so we are going to be doing a ton more actual paste tomatoes instead of my slicing tomatoes and cherry tomatoes. We'll still do those, of course, um, but we might limit those to maybe two panels um, or depending, we might do two, um, just two rows of those in tomato cages and go from there. That way I can have all of the cattle panels that I do have prepared for tomatoes, ready for paste tomatoes. Um, I do still have a bunch of carrots that I gotta plant. I have one box, but that has one, that only has like two varieties out of the 20 different varieties that I have. Um, I did that on purpose this year, or this time around. I would add in a lot of compost to make sure that it, you know, worked out well for the fall. Um, come October, we are going to be getting saffron bulbs and we are going to be getting, I think, three or four more varieties of garlic. I'm not 100% sure of the other three, but I definitely know one of them is a hard neck. Another one is a, is elephant garlic. And then two other ones, I don't know if those were both 
soft neck or if there was another third hard neck and one more soft neck. Um, so once we get those in, they're going to be going in three different boxes or four different boxes for their own specific type. That way we can keep an eye on which one's which, unlike last year where they kind of got mixed in and we didn't know exactly what box had what. Um, we are hopefully going to be getting auger attachment for my tractor that way when we are ready to expand my fence line we're going to be putting in at least one wooden post per corner and possibly what I would like to do at least is put in one post in the middle of each section that way it's not just T-posts and it has something a little more sturdier to balance on. Um, not that the T-posts that we have don't work, but just something a little sturdier. Um, hopefully a little more rabbit proof. Um, and a little bit more to deter other animals getting in my garden. But other than that, everything up here has been going great. I finally found that one of the plants that I was hoping would come up actually came up and that would be the marshmallow root. Uh, initially that box had had um, Aunt Molly's ground cherries in them. My mom is the only one that can eat them. So I decided to just pull them up right now because none of us really like them except for her. Um, and she really can't for health reasons. Um, and I had planted over the winter some marshmallow root seeds. Well, they didn't come up like I thought they would. And when I finally pulled out the majority of the Aunt Molly's ground cherries, I had so far one plant that was confirmed to be marshmallow root. And it's in a four by four box, so I'm hoping that it actually expands and grows and fills out that entire box. Um, I really wanna do something different for my herbs next year. Most likely I'll be putting them in big, deep um, planters for the simple reason, if I can maintain them in my potting shed over the winter, I can still have all of my herbs. I know that might be a lot of different herbs. Um, the ones that come back every year, I'm gonna have in their own little two by two boxes. Right now, that pretty much includes my horseradish. I have my rhubarb. I have valerian. I have my borage and I have clary sage all in two by two boxes. Um, I did have feverfew planted, but it didn't come up. I'm a little disappointed, but we'll see how that goes. And then um, we'll kind of go from there. Anyway, until next time.